Before there was Kingdom Hearts, before there was Super Smash Bros., one of the biggest names in video game crossovers came courtesy of the collaborative efforts of Nintendo and Square. Super Mario RPG took the platformer we all loved and turned it into a turn-based RPG filled with humorous dialogue, tongue-in-cheek references, and hours of fun. While the game mined the rich history of the Mario franchise, aside from the RPG elements, the game was surprisingly devoid of Square's popular icons. Yet, there's a nod to the Final Fantasy franchise tucked away within the Mushroom Kingdom. During your adventures to conquer Smithy, you'll come across a town called Moleville. It's here that you can purchase fireworks from a mole for 500 coins and then trade them to another younger mole for an item called the Shiny Stone. If you take this mysterious stone to Monstro, located at Land's End, you can unlock a previously sealed door. Entering this previously unreachable room triggers an encounter with a mysterious figure going by the name Culex. Culex's sprite resembles something seen in one of the Super Nintendo iterations of Final Fantasy, and the Fiend's dialogue further hints at a connection to Square's prized RPG franchise. The reference becomes obvious once the battle begins. The boss battle theme from Final Fantasy IV begins as Mario and his companions take on Culex and his four elemental crystals. Should you emerge victorious, the classic Final Fantasy fanfare theme plays, followed by a version of Final Fantasy's Prelude. Your reward for vanquishing Culex is the prized quartz charm and a somber monologue from the defeated Dark Knight. While the Mario RPG franchise would live on, the two Japanese developers never again collaborated on future installments. Perhaps another day, on another system, we might see the two reunite for a true sequel.